mind is always elsewhere. Why are you doing this right now? Most men wouldn't even have this conversation. They just leave. And why would they do that? I'm your boyfriend, not a focus group. Have a shitty day. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. This conversation went in a circle and we're back where we started. Yeah, me too. I just had the same conversation. No, I think they were different because yours was private. <laughs> oh, thank God. I couldn't take one more omen of doom. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to miss the presentation. <laughs> And that's your omen of doom. Gathered in a circle, they suddenly feel included. They're safe from whatever is out there in the night and the darkness. It's the beans that brought them together. <laughs> Home is where the Heinz is. <laughs> Raymond, I saw you when she was talking. You were off somewhere. I'm not a word person like you people. Sure you are. Your words are always, I don't like it. And I think you're right. I think you just like fighting. Peggy, you're being oversensitive. Mm -hmm. Do you know how often people come in here and look at work and feel something? She's trying to pull it on Draper here. <laughs> it's young and it's beautiful. No one else is going to figure out how to say that about beans. Can you believe this girl? <laughs> the disrespect, huh? Why don't just you and I have dinner tonight? Maybe taking a show? Take your mind off things? You can try. <laughs> you can try. This fucking asshole. Just like last time, he just sits there smiling just to say no in the end. He said you're off the business. <laughs> Can't wait for Don's reaction. <laughs> Why don't they? At least two days since they've eaten, they'll just die. Yes, I know. How about you put something different in your mouth now, huh? Okay. Aren't you worried? There you go. Oh. Why? <laughs> Miss Olsen. Isn't it your bedtime too? Hmm? <laughs> Has anyone called you? I don't think so. Listen, it didn't go well. I gotta go. I take full responsibility. Hello? Hmm. Got away this time. <laughs> My father told me a story. I was born in a concentration camp, but you know that's impossible. And I never met my mother because she supposedly died there. That's convenient. Are there others like you? I haven't been able to find any. Another lonely boy, huh? Seems to be a common problem around here. Come up here. You need me, huh? I always need you. Always? Yeah. What? This guy told me the strangest thing at work today. He said he was born in a concentration camp. But that's impossible, right? Yeah, because the Holocaust never happened, right? You're not gonna say anything? What? I said you look nice, and I said I don't want to do this. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? She's worn something more comfortable. You really do look great. How dare you say something nice? I told you we're going to take LSD with them. You were supposed to clear your schedule. LSD? <clears throat> Please. I don't want to do this alone. It'll be good for us. Yeah, it will be great. For Roger, who had two heart attacks. <laughs> I have taken it now four times, and every experience was more beautiful than the last. And I'm not going to take it. I'll be here to guide you. <sighs> I'm excited. Are you sure you're not here to rape someone? <laughs> Go ahead. Just let it melt on your tongue. It's probably just sugar. Placebo. <laughs> She's tricking you. Mm, that's kind of smart, actually. <laughs> well, Dr. Leary, I find your product boring. <laughs> he says as he flies off. <laughs> Oh my god, look 
break my arm. I don't want to die. Some party. See president. All I think about is having an affair. You never cheated on me. There was a kiss. I stopped it. A younger man. No. An older man? Was it Cooper? You don't like me. I did. <laughs> did. <laughs> cool, so it's over, yeah? Oh, Joan! Are you leaving me? No. We're leaving each other, just like you said. You <laughs> didn't say that. You did. You said so many amazing things. You were speaking German. <laughs> Why didn't they show that? <laughs> I need you to get me out of everything through the weekend. That was a dumb idea. Wow. Why the hell are we back here? Are we going to see their day? Then it ends up with the phone call he had with Peggy, huh? Try it. Oh. No, sorry. It's not for everybody. It tastes like perfume to me. That's why we make 28 flavors. <laughs> so this flavor is perfume. I don't like it. There's no chance you're trying to embarrass me. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Mmm, <laughs> so delicious. Mmm, <laughs> perfume. <laughs> Maybe you could make up a little schedule so I'll know when I'm working and when I'm your wife. I know, I'm terrible. Making you eat ice cream. <laughs> Why don't you call your mother and hurl a string of complaints at her in French? What do you call your mother? Excuse me? Do not walk away from me. <clears throat> After that comment, of course. Have a nice walk. No, you dare pull away! I'm talking to you! Bye! <laughs> See you at home. <laughs> so, where is she, hmm? Bet she's eating that ice cream. She got kidnapped. Dawn, call the police. I wanted to know if, if Megan had called you. Has Megan called me tonight? No. No. I wanted to buy her some jewelry, and I remembered that she had an allergic reaction to metal. If she does call, then don't what? ruin the surprise, okay? <laughs> don't ruin that surprise. Don't tell her that I tried to find her. Don't give her that satisfaction. Are you okay? I'm sorry to do that to you, sir, but... Officer, thank God you're here. My wife is missing. My wife, she... She's missing. She took off from here. When was this? Uh, don't trust this guy, Don. He's in on it. <laughs> I'll be back and forth here all morning. I'll keep an eye out. You don't even know who to look for. <laughs> Megan! Megan! Go away! Open the door! Just break it open. It's your place. <laughs> open the door or I'm gonna kick it in! Leave me alone! <laughs> Here's Donnie! I thought you were dead. <laughs> This will end with sex, so... <laughs> How could you do that to me? How could you say that one thing about his mother? <laughs> Perfect couple. 
You've been on love leave. It's amazing things are going as well as they are with as little as you are doing. It's none of your business. This is my business. For 150 years, it's been his business. Dawn. I have an announcement to make. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> because I'm getting a divorce. 